Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Brent Budrow here with The Furrow. Thanks for joining us again here today. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, today I'm here with Dan Childs and uh, an interesting topic. We're going to be talking about possibly some beneficial insects and uh, Dan, take it away. Okay, very good. Uh, so well, here we have something completely different. We have a, a pollinator strip. I call it a poly strip for short. Uh, Ten foot strip right in the middle of your field or you can put it on the edge of your field. Um, this uh, combination is uh, of five different annual cover crops. And so these five different cover crops bloom at different times. So we're going to have something blooming all through the season. Wow. And the purpose of that is to bring in pollinators, certainly. And if you look and listen, there's, there's bees all throughout the uh, buckwheat here. That's what's blooming right now is the buckwheat. But not only do we have pollinators, but we also have beneficial insects that will visit, you know, uh, diversified plants like this. And beneficials are good, right? Because they help control some of our corn pests, like earworm, uh, western bean cutworm, and, and those types of things. So we, yeah, we do have traits. We do have do have insecticides, you know. But we're getting to a point where we're starting to lose some of the effectiveness of those because of resistance. So here's something that we can, you know, like work with Mother Nature, partner with Mother Nature to help, uh, you know, control some of the pests that we have. And uh, so anyway, just an experiment that we're trying uh, this year. Um, so what I do is I have these blue vein traps that I'll hang out uh, in the uh, strip here and capture uh, what uh, beneficials are coming to the strips. Then I'll have the same type of traps out in the cornfield, you know, to see how far out these beneficial insects will go once they're uh, lured in by something like this. So we have five different cover crops here, annual cover crops. Okay, so uh, this is not perennials. These are not, you know, if you're trying to establish a perennial strip, it takes a few years to get established. And then you have to farm around it, right? You can't, you know, you can't spray it and such. So this is just an annual. So it's only here one year. Then we can move this strip someplace else, you know, so it doesn't tie us in to having to, you know, farm around that strip. So I have buckwheat, which is the white flower uh, uh, cover crop now, uh, safflower, sun hemp, which is this product right here. Okay, it's a it's a legume. Uh, we have um, wild sunflower right behind Brent there. Yep. And, uh, and then partridge pea, which is a legume, and uh, it's, it's out there somewhere. It's probably covered up by some of these larger ones. But we have five different uh, annual cover crops, and uh, I, uh, I sowed that uh, this, you know, about a week after I planted the corn, and uh, we went a long time without rain, so it's, we're really surprised to see we had some really good growth there. Once we did get a couple inches, it, it just really took off. But um, yeah, so we'll have some interesting results later this year. Yeah, we'll be sure to share those results with you guys because some things that come to mind is, you know, black cutworm early or, you know, you have army worm coming in early that are really harming those plants as the corn's just taken off. Yep. And, um, you know, even slugs, you know, how, how are we, um, what beneficials are out there that could help, you know, maybe work with some of those and, and help sure. us. Yep. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us here today with The Furrow. Please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next video coming at you soon. Thank you.